has unfortunately fallen ill uh, this morning with the flu. So she was part of the organization here, the great work that they do to put this um, organization together to make sure that Israeli technology gets out to the rest of the world and is successful in its development. Um, so unfortunately, Karen couldn't be here with us today, but I do want you all to give them a round of applause really for the hard work they do at the ITTN. It's so important to the state of Israel for this, this wonderful work. All right, so you're probably thinking, what is this guy in media doing up here talking about you know, technology transfer? What the heck has he got to do with anything? So it's probably a good time for me to tell you what am I doing here? So um, my keynote is making real world impact with advanced technology and innovative creativity and connectivity. So um, you know, what's important is that when I came to Israel 10 years ago, I saw they have absolutely phenomenal innovation here, phenomenal creativity phenomenal intelligence and thought processes. But when it came to the marketing, communications, and business development internationally, 10 years ago when I got here, this wasn't the strongest area of Israeli business. So I'm very happy to be part of this. And let me tell you a little bit about my journey and, and how we got here. Uh, I'm sure you've all experienced it and you've seen that in technology development a lot. So we're just restarting the computer here, but luckily I'm used to this kind of stuff, so I can keep going, no problem. So uh, my name is Johnny Kaplan. I'm the CEO and founder of Tech Talk Media and Impossible Media. Uh, Tech Talk Media is a US-based media company. I made Aliyah 10 years ago to Israel. Um, and when I came here, uh, thank you for the claps. Um, when, when I came here, uh, I had been a technology entrepreneur since the age of 14. So I've had several successful exits in my life. Uh, you might have guessed that I grew up in England. Uh, I won an award from the Duke of Edinburgh for entrepreneurship at 14 at school. And that really propelled me to be very excited to be an entrepreneur and get out there and build things and make things happen. Um, so I had a very exciting career very young on and, um, and I exited my last company in 2010. And then I moved to Israel because I heard that this was the startup nation. Obviously, being Jewish, I had some roots here in Israel, my mother being Israeli. But I, you know, I saw the development that was going on here. And that's why you know, the book was written, The Startup Nation, because there are elements in this country that put together cause it to be the most innovative and, and uh, advanced country in terms of development and innovation. So there is so much exciting stuff going on here. So when I got here, people were asking me, please, Johnny, help me. How do I get money? How do I, uh, how do I get out to China? How do I sell things in America? How do I do all these difficult things? I'm stuck in Israel. I've got great tech. What do I do with it? And I found this problem and I started helping people one at a time, one at a time. And we did great stuff, but it wasn't practical and it wasn't sustainable. And I wanted to know, how are we going to help this Israeli innovation to get out to the rest of the world? How are we going to make sure they get money, they get funding, they get um, sales, they get business development that they need all across the world for these flying taxis and robots that look after the elderly and drones that fly into burning buildings to warn the firefighters, 3D holographic surgery. This stuff needs to get out there. We invented the mobile phone chip, right? We invented so many other amazing things in the world. We need to get the technology out there. So I'm so sorry, I, I'm the king of visuals, but today we've got no visuals, so you'll just have to listen to me because it's not working right now. I was gonna show you some clips from our first TV series called Tech Talk. Tech Talk was filmed in 2017. It was about Israeli innovation. We filmed 53 Israeli startups who were under the radar People who were developing some of the things I said, the drones, the, the robots, the, the, the holographic surgery. We made a show and in 2019, that show went on Amazon Prime in 83 countries. Um, the show now broadcasts in 120 countries around the world. Many countries who don't really have a positive light about Israel, but they love seeing flying taxis and robots that look after the elderly, all this cool technology. The show went on to win 11 International Film Festival Awards. It showcased around the world. It's now on the British educational system, thanks to PricewaterhouseCooper. And more importantly than our success for the show, the 53 startups that we put on the show raised over half a billion dollars since the show went live. So that is true technology transfer. There was no financial relationship between us and the companies. We just loved what they did and we felt that we needed to show it with the rest of the world. 
Uh, and we managed to do that. We were successful. It showcases now on 40 different broadcasters in 120 countries around the world. And that is true Hasbara for Israel because it showcases the true intelligence and innovation of the Israeli people and doesn't talk about politics, doesn't talk about religion, doesn't talk about divisive issues, just talks about innovation and positivity. And we were very successful with that. Since uh, 2019, we have 18 more TV shows. We have the rise of AI, inside NASA's innovations, and many other shows about technology, advanced technology, where we put these companies on television before anybody knows what they're doing. And between you, know, you and me, there is, no, there is no comparison with television marketing. And I think you all know that. You've all watched shows such as Shark Tank or Dragon's Den or The Apprentice or Hakrishim here in Israel, where it showcases entrepreneurs trying to make it. They have a great idea. They sit in front of investors. A lot of the time they get shouted at. They get scared, right? It's a, it's a daunting environment. But it really showcases that, that there are people trying to get out there in the world. And, and the ITTN is one of those organizations that is really assisting entrepreneurs and innovators to get their technology out there. I did a show called Inside NASA's Innovations, which was all about NASA and the technology that they develop. Now, I'm not sure if you all knew this, but NASA has a technology transfer um, uh, service. And the problem with NASA is they develop too much technology and they don't have the money or the resources to actually commercialize it. So they require a technology transfer service to showcase to other people, to make these relationships, and to actually commercialize their technology. This is exactly the same as what the ITTN does. The ITTN is like your two Jewish parents who, when you have an idea, you want them to hold your hand, give you some money, give you some advice, and walk you down the path until you feel strong enough to do it yourself. It's kind of what the ITTN does in my eyes, right? They give you that helping hand when you don't have it. And this is a very, very important factor to the development, the evolution of business in any country. And I find that Israel has that gap communication-wise, culturally, uh, in some situations. Well, the ITTN is giving you the tools to learn about it, to see what you've got to do better, and actually give you those resources. And, and uh, uh, it doesn't seem like we're having any, any luck with the technological development over here. But um, uh, I, I'm really very proud to be part of what's going on here. And, and we need to bolster this organization because there is a gap in the amount of income that's coming in with the amount of export that we have. There is, we are definitely not at the point of efficiency right now with the revenue that's being generated compared to the technology innovation in this country. We need to up it. And with problems like Moody's downgrading the country's uh, rating and stopping investment coming into the country, we need to do whatever we can to stand on our own two feet, to use our own innovation and intelligence to take the technology across the world. So that's what we're doing here today. We've got a great lineup of um, some of the researchers who are uh, uh, learning and finding out what the technologies are and the engineers who are putting this together um, so that you can really hear some of the medical development and innovation